Hello there. So today we look at how to use Jasper Art, and I'm going to show you. Uh, just so you can see me, you can also see me. Hello there. Uh, let's look at Jasper Art. Jasper Art. Uh, I don't know if you know how AI and how text to image works, but Jasper Art is built upon the same technology that other AI writing tools, including Jasper, use. Uh, and let me quickly show you what art does. So I put. Uh, so I mean, these are the these are the inputs that you give. So you give a textual description, and you talk like how you talk to a friend, natural language, and then you can choose a number of things uh, based on what kind of output you like. Uh, you know, you can choose. You know, the background uh, is it a classical crayon class. You can choose actually you know number of different arts including my favorite one pixar pixar is amazing if you want a certain type of funny and uh, I mean, if you're a fan of pixar movies you know the kind of images that they can generate and of course you can also choose you know what kind of mood you want from this painting and of course you can also make it you know close up or for example if you draw a face that is you know showing a lot of emotions and expressions and you want a close-up if you want, uh, let's say, uh, 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 slightly more dramatic setting, then you kind of go for, you know, realistic. And if you think about a portrait, uh, uh, maybe not a close-up one, but let's say in a person with, you know, with uh, with some background, then you kind of just choose photorealistic. So in a way, you kind of try and error to see how Jasper reacts to what you want. And let's maybe take an example now. So let's do Superman, and this is my favorite one because, uh, you know, one Superman sits in the DC world, uh, Spider-Man and the others, they sit in the Marvel world, they're never going to meet. Of course, we can make them meet here. I'm trying to be funny here. Uh, I have no idea what the AI is going to do. Let's check it out. So I'm going to say the the superhero Superman, Batman from the DC world, Spider-Man, Iron Man from the Marvel world. They sit in a cafe in New York to discuss how to save the universe from a supervillain. OK. Uh, let's maybe add, I think that's the right spelling, but I'm not sure. All right, we're going to try a few things now. Let's just uh, let me copy this. So I don't have to type it again. Let's just hit create because the AI kind of learns from your feedback. So it's gotten the input from you now, the textual input. You haven't chosen anything on the style or wow. That's actually brilliant. Look at the first one. Uh, it, I think, gets uh, and then it thinks that you want this for a comic book or something. So it's it's trying to fill it up. Let's maybe try and do Pixar and see how the tone of this uh, image changes. So with the default input, it thinks this is for a comic. And I think that kind of output is perfect for it. Well, it's kind of turned kids version. And here, oh, actually, I kind of like this one. Look, there are the three main characters. And there's two Supermans here, so it's, it's still a little bit confused. So I have to do thumbs down here so it knows this is not the image I want. But what Jasper doesn't have yet is it doesn't know why why I don't like it. I actually like the image. I just don't like the fact that the eyes are a little blurry. And you can see the hand. And this is a common problem with uh, Jasper R. You see the hands aren't accurately finished. So you kind of say, you know, get me photorealistic, highly, highly detailed one. So let's go again. And you sometimes figure out it's not always easy to get exactly the image that you want in mind. So you have to start tweaking your inputs. That looks a little better. But again, you see Spider-Man is fine. Superman is fine. Batman mm, off here and there. But you don't want to get into copyright trouble. So maybe that's not so bad. That isn't good, so I'm going to thumbs down. Actually, this one is good, so I'm going to say, yeah, that works better. 
I need them to discuss so I think that picture is exactly what I want but let's see if I can get a more detailed version of it you know which I can print into onto a t-shirt or something not these ones I, I think you can see how this is beginning to work this is taking the pixel mode I'm, I'm just going to say let's assume you know how this let's assume Vancouver or, or South Park painted this one let's see how it's going to turn out because remember these artists they have a unique style to their work and Jasper learned from their work and then it's going to try the same techniques here and you can see it's dramatically different when we choose somebody else let's choose Andy Warhol so I don't know if I'm saying this name right I would say Warhol okay let's see what Andy would have done and he's gone with the slightly more colorful there's shades in the hair uh, on the face that looks interesting let's look at what Adams would have done here and again this is how you try an error with Jasper art or actually any AI it's not going to intuitively know what you think uh, this has gone you know slightly retro black and white versions maybe you know that's representative of the artist Let's look at the popular one now with the doctor. It clearly reads this as a comic book uh, scenario. Let's have fun. Let's add Thanos in the background. Well, I am sorry if you don't know who Thanos is, just the greatest villain, uh, one of the greatest villains of our generations. Hmm, doesn't know Thanos, and Dr. Seuss definitely does not know him. Let's do it again. And you can see how it, it's like working with a child, to be honest, and then you start pushing it and nudging it and closely bring it to what you want. So you can see that this style doesn't work. So I'm just going to go back to none. Uh, and the moment I threw the Thanos input into the mix, it's getting a little more difficult for Jasper because it doesn't clearly understand what you want. So I'm going to take Thanos off and go back and see if, and, and remember every unique, every image is unique. You don't get the same one again what you could do is push and try and get variants of it but you will never have the same one again so here that looks okay ish okay so i just wanted to show this is how it works but how would i use it you know in examples like this you know when i write my blogs i for example i write about artificial intelligence taking over cooking around the world. I mean, maybe I'm going to write an article about how AI is going to, you know, take over, you know, the, the silly jobs from us. I would rather have a brilliant cook giving me, you know, breakfast, dinner, and lunch, rather than me doing it myself. It's still confused. So what I'm going to do is, I'm just going to say a robot, because, I mean, a computer is not going to cook, right? I mean, you need a robot to cook. So let's let's uh, give a new input and see what um, Jasper Art is going to. Do. Okay, there you go. Exactly the kind of image I was looking for. Uh, you can see all the four images have a kitchen, some sort of a kitchen setup, and this robot is even cute. And I would think if if the robots do take over, if AI does take over, it will need a physical form to cook. So you you do need some sort of robot version and i think i love all the four they look good maybe i love these three or the first one so let's do i'm gonna thumbs up to say this is the kind of image i want jasper says thank you you're welcome i'm going to try again and see what uh, jasper art does it is improvising it's trying to cut here and here it's actually working with a human maybe it remembers the input from the previous iterations but this uh, intelligence background uh, I think the previous set were better, so I'm going to say, no, nope, not so good. 
and let's go again. And uh, the cleverer your inputs are, and then you will only find this out with time with trial and error, you get better descriptions, and then you'll see some descriptions work better than the other. Okay, here the robot looks different because it's actually not a robot like how you think. It's just a machine doing something. Who knows, this could be our future. I mean, go look at the kitchen. You have little robots doing a lot of things already. Maybe that's how the next robot would look. And this looks like a robot in a factory. It's not like a human version of a robot. It's just very functional, it seems to be. And it's just doing a thing that it's designed to do. The other two look like humans. So actually, I think this image set is better. So I'm going to take that. So I would pick one of these images. And of course, if you want to see the previous ones, I, I mean, if I was going to write a blog, this guy is the one I would most likely pick. And Jasper is working on getting a high resolution versions of these that you can actually blow up and print into posters if you want. So if you want to try how the, if you if you want to see how this works for you guys, I'm going to add a trial link in the description. Go feel free to check it out. And one cool feature that you might want to know if you're a power user in Jasper is you can go to a document. It's a cool tip. You can go here and then add a command. And if you don't know what a command is, I'm going to add another video to explain how command works. So you can say what would be a good stock image for the above. Look, this is magic. Here it says that would be good. And all you need to do is take that, go back to art. Of course, you can also toggle windows. You can put it here. It works a lot. Jasper isn't still good with um, text, in, you know, uh, having text in the image. So it's going to say something. I, I don't think it's going to say the same exact words, but let's see what Jasper does. OK, it's trying to. Let's maybe say you know, career coach helping another person rise up in their career. Let's just say you know, this is the image I want. Maybe somebody pulling you from bottom or you know, somebody throwing a ladder to you know, help you come up. Uh, I'm visualizing some of these. It's giving me actual people, which is fine, I think. Because this is AI, I cannot expect it to understand uh, without me actually saying it. So I have to say, a person helping another person climb a pyramid. Let's do that. I mean, I'm thinking the corporate world is like a pyramid. You want to rise to the top. And you need a career coach who helps you do that climb that pyramid. There you can see it's it's getting closer. I don't like the image quality and the finish though, so I did a thumbs down. I'm going to go again. I'm looking more like this, but as you can see, the image isn't perfect. I'm, I'm still going to thumbs up to say that's the kind of image I want. So it says it it says helping. I'm gonna say pull up. So there's a clear uh, direction here. I have a person who's trying to pull up another person. I think that is a better image. It's like they push you from behind, which is exactly what you need. You don't necessarily need somebody at the top pulling you up. You could also have somebody from the below pushing you up. Now this set is bad. Um, what I would do is I would go again and again uh, and and stop when I have something that I believe is right. I saw one image that was good. Uh, let me change this to a mountain.
some of the images that you could see in in jasper you would be mind blown so i'm going to quickly open the art gallery oh. you can see some of the images here uh moods and feelings structure and shape and look at this image it, it looks and you can see the the prompt words here well, let's let's take the same and then see what we get and the more brain jasper in some of the topics uh the better it would be Maybe I'm missing a car uh old car all right let's add a car to it i would say an old car but i i am guessing jasper would understand what i mean exactly what what we want perfect so you can also go here and get inspiration on how people have used it and and what kind of prompts they have and, and that helps you, you know, understand what kind of inputs work better than others. Oh, you can see some of these images are stunning. And you can never imagine these yourself. I mean, if you leave an artist and give him some time or her some time, I'm guessing they could come up with this. But imagine generating hundreds of them every hour. What could you do with that? I mean, could you print this on a t-shirt? Could you print this on a mug? Could you start your own brand? Could you start your own art gallery? I mean, imagine the possibilities. That's what Jasper Art gives you. It's uh, it's uh, twenty dollars a month. Uh, I, I I think the prices would change once it's not in the trial mode anymore. Uh, and you can try it for free for seven days. And you can also try writing with Jasper uh, for free for seven days for ten thousand words use the description there's a link in the description below use that and get going guys and of course check back on the channel i'll constantly add more videos and show you how to use uh, jasper and other tools thanks